everybody, welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. Panda's playing, so you better not get us hurt by the scary monsters. Panda, do you know how to play this game? Yes, I know how to play this game. Basically, the guy on the phone is going to explain everything I to know, you right now. I know, I played this game. I know this game so well, check this out. This is going to scare me more than it scares you. So the goal is we want to... Cool. Chica. There's little furries that'll come at, come after you and then come on your, come on, all over you. I beg in your pardon? Do we have the naked <laughs> mod on? Ooh. Are they coming after you yet? No. This, this is really easy. Okay. I mean... The first night seems easy. I feel like you could yeah. just take a nap. Blah, blah, blah. Now that blah, 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 blah. Masterful dialogue. Okay, spitting a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> what if we get Gapple Freddy? What's Gapple Freddy? Hey, what are you saying? You know, Golden Apple. Gapple? Gapple Freddy? Gapple? What? Is that real slang? Gapple? No, the Gapple from Minecraft. So, do you want me to explain the lore? Uh, yeah. I guess, yeah. I honestly don't know anything about this <clears throat> game. Okay, so basically, there was a murderous psychopath who abducted children from Five Nights at Freddy's when they were visiting and okay. stuffed their corpses into animatronic suits. Jesus. Now their ghosts inhabit the animatronic suits. That's creepy. The kids are in there? Yeah. So it's kind of a fursuit still. Like, I guess, but that's not how I would describe it if... If like given the choice to describe it, you know. What's in that foil panel? What were you eating earlier? Is that a is that a Big Mac? Oh, that was my my five foot long fifteen dollar fifteen dollar foot long. Oh my god, look at those faces. That's so creepy. This game's for pussies. What the fuck uh, is that? Dum, 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 yeah, I think they're dum, coming dum. for you. Yeah, you gotta look at the stuff, man. You're about to die. I'm not. Check the hallway. Check Cam Two B or whatever. Wow, look how hot she is. Shalad, I feel like you're not really saying a lot. I was looking at my B-reels. Sorry. No one uses it anymore, so I'm the only one that's been posting for about two <laughs> years straight. Every day, I, it goes off and I still do it. None of my friends do it. No one sees it. I don't think a single B-reel of mine has gotten a view in year, in like over a year. If I got a B-reel and I added you, I would look at your B-reel. Can you look at my D-reel? <laughs> I like that noise. I like that noise. <laughs> I like that noise. He likes it. Are you guys into fragrances? My dream fragrance is Astronaut by DeGabor, but it's like 290 euros. Why is it that much? It's, I don't know. Well, like actually, water. no, it's because of the ambergris in it. Yeah. If comments could help me choose between Vanilla Lux by Sphinx or Pale Gray Mountain Small, back, Small Black Lake, I'm also toying with the idea of Eros Flame which I smelt at Sephora the other day, and I was very pleasantly surprised by the citrusy top notes and okay. the spice. This is, just, this is just a bit. Bro doesn't no. care about cologne. No, I'm actually like extremely into fragrances. I, f I found this website called Fragrantica, and uh, I've just oh been obsessed God. with like looking up all the notes of everything. The notes? Like, you know, the the base notes, the mid notes, and the top notes of the fragrance. Hold on, Mika. You're going to have to save the, the fragrance spiel. Because the phone guy's about to come on. Oh, I commute it. <laughs> oh. Nice. Great. Okay. Yeah. Mika, what about the fragrance? Yeah. Carry on. Basically, you can break down the base notes, the middle notes, and the top notes. And it'll also tell you about the sillage and the longevity. I smelt Eros also at Sephora because everyone always hypes up Versace Eros, but I honestly didn't like it. It had very like acetone y smell to it. Like it smelled like a dentist's office to me. Mm. But a lot of people really swear by it, which, like, fair enough. Maybe I just didn't give it enough chance because there is a lot of strong mint in the top notes. Okay, I, I gotta stop you right here, Mika. You're talking about <laughs> this like you talk about... This is formulated exactly in the same way as all of your bits, where you'll pretend like you're really into something, but you're not, or you just found out about something and you're... Oh, shit! Oh, God! Oh, God. Jesus. So, like, I feel a twinge of irony at this conversation. No. There's and no I, irony. I just feel like I can't take you seriously. Seems like satire to me. There's no irony. I'm being very sincere. I I got really into <laughs> <laughs> You close it. What happens if you keep it open for like three seconds? I'll get fucked. Do they fuck you? Well, fuck me. Right now, I'm using this fragrance called Capsidrat. So how many people each day smell you and go, wow, is that Capsidrat? <laughs> I'm getting top notes of hibiscus and mid notes of musk. No, no, no. Cap musk. No. 
No, Cap Sidra has musk in the bass notes, yeah, but it's a- Oh no shit! Oh! You just it's got a rare event! That actually scares me. This game is so shit I can't turn it down, so it's just super loud. And I have to hear you guys, <laughs> so it has to be loud as fuck. Schlatt, tell me this doesn't smell delicious. In the top <laughs> notes, we've got citron, watery notes, and mint. In the middle notes, we've got watery notes, lavender, black pepper, ginger, violet leaf, and pink pepper. And in the bass notes, we've got cedar, musk, and amber. Just spray it on the mic, dude. I can't- <laughs> Imagine that smell. Mika, I got a perfume. Okay. It's called Cloud. Top notes of Cloud. Bottom notes of Rain. Are you talking about the uh, the Ariana Grande Cloud? Yeah, I actually, I actually was, yeah. Can I be honest with you guys? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Never worn a fragrance in my life. I just put on deodorant. I once, remember when Manscaped did a deal with us and then they canceled because oh, no one bought a single one yeah that happened so they sent me a little care package full of all the products and one of the sprays was a little like ball spray it looked like a perfume spray thing but it it said spray this on your balls bottom notes of pubic yeah it's just like a freshener Perfect. upper and i i will admit sometimes i've sprayed that on like cologne like um, on your bo oh yeah but it's weird because yeah yeah. So Mika, what's the deal with the, the neck placement? Because some people spray the perfume on the back of the neck versus the front of the neck. Oh yeah, so if you spray on the back of the neck, you get like a better sillage. So like what as you Shut, body. no, see, this is why I can't <laughs> take this conversation seriously. No, what this do is you why mean? I feel like you're being fake. I'm not being fake, no. You, so, yo, okay, this is Roman exactly, this is like a carbon copy of every bit you do. What bits, dude? Yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I don't you know, know what, what I'm point. talking about. That has a point. You'll show up and no, everyone knows what what I what I mean. I literally don't know what you're talking about. Everyone knows. Can give me an example of of like when I have like faked being into something. <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. Who? No, you can't even name an example. I, because I start pulling oh, you out when you do it. That's how much it happens. Panda, you just got a scary, rare event. You just yeah. got oh, a rare event. You'll s like, say, like, say you were into cars. Your bit was that you were a real car guy. I like, was you'd, into you'd cars. You'd know. Okay, but if you were turning this into a bit, you'd have the most, like, niche car brand and you, you'd know every single part of the engine and you know what every dial is called and you'd name them specifically at, with a with a satirical ironic twang in your voice and that's exactly what you're doing that's just my voice i don't know what to no, say no you'd be like oh yeah i had to take my dodge dart to the mechanic because the tachometer was w not working and he said i needed new camshafts uh, on my what? blower valves. That you know? hasn't happened, but I will say the catalytic converter on my 04 Jetta 1.8 exactly. Exactly. has been acting up. I think the heat shield on the bottom is rattling. You can just take it off. Your car doesn't need a catalytic converter. Take it off! Really? Your car doesn't need it. What does that do? It's some liberal shit. It's for your exhaust emissions. Oh, so you, you do less emissions with it? Yeah. But it's not working? It's a little busted right now. What does it do? Like drag on the ground? It goes... It makes loud noises. <laughs> Does that annoy you? A little bit. Well, it's also, it reduces my fuel economy. What if you take it off? It'll feel mm. good. <laughs> <laughs> How much does it worth? Can you sell it? Yes. Honestly, people do go around stealing catalytic converters. They make meth with them. Careful, Panda. You're running low on power. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got 15% left. Well, I'm close. I just needed one more hour. Is that Chica? It's my side bitch right here. Listen, Schlatt, why don't... Look, I do apologize. I want to apologize, but like, I just feel like the way you said oh, siage That was about crazy. I will say like that. that's just that's just a Mika bit. I want to be happy for you, but sometimes you make it difficult. I, well, I don't. I don't. Oh fuck! Oh my god, what was that? That's not fair. That was Chica. That was Foxy. <laughs> that was Foxy. He smelled the arrow's flame on us and wanted a piece of that. Who? Foxy. I thought Foxy was a girl. That's me when I goon. <laughs> Freddy is gooned out right now. <laughs> oh my god, look at that stare. Oh, Schlatt, right. why don't you listen to this? Tell me this does not sound this does not smell delicious. Okay. <sighs> okay. In the top notes, we've got mandarin orange, Madagascar Bro. pepper, what? lemon, chinoto, and top rosemary. Note? What is a middle note? What is a bottom note? So okay. Basically, usually Do not say sayage in this sentence. I will not, no. But a perfumer will try to layer the smells 
so that first you smell the top notes and then as time passes you get more of the middle notes and then as more time passes you get the bass notes really? so you keep like the deeper smells at the very bottom layer so it's like it's like it's like a nice little like adventure through your nose okay would you call it a sillage i would not no the sillage is like the the scent trail that you leave behind so it's like your slime kind of yeah but for smell how do you even spell sillage s i l l a g e no no that's yeah. not it, that is how you it's a I French just, word. I just I refuse that whole concept. It's a French word. So yeah. what do you think about this? Those were the top notes, right? Now listen to the middle notes. We got geranium, <laughs> rose, and pepperwood. Moving into the base notes, we got vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, Texas cedar, patchouli, and oak moss. I don't know what any of those smell like except vanilla. We start off with something light, bright, and fun, and we move into something sexy and sensual, and it's like a nice, playful give and take with someone who is confident but also in touch with their more raw emotions i just bro just put on some deodorant and like call it a day sometimes if i'm if i smell myself i'll uh like put the stick on my neck or like sometimes i'll rub the stick on my shirt you don't actually do that <laughs> you don't actually do sometimes that. i just don't even shower sometimes I, I i start the stick in my gooch and i feel like flick it up towards my ball <laughs> <laughs> Surely you don't actually do that. Oh, no, I do. I'm being totally honest. That's my siage. Dude, my siage starts in my gooch. <laughs> and it, my top notes are... <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? Actually, there are some fragrances that are a little more out there. Like you could 100% find like a like a human sweat mixed with like blood. Why? Why? Why would anyone wear that? I mean, let's say for example, you're at the local Satan cult practice, as you do for the evening, as one does, and maybe you want to smell a little more like a sanguinic what does sanguinic mean like a little bloody you want to smell a little like bloody and irony okay so i see i haven't sold you guys on on getting into the fragrance i just i don't yet. i don't really understand why someone would buy like a 500 hundred dollar cologne versus like a 50 dollar cologne dude yeah, I feel the same way. It's like whiskey. It's like, it just makes you drunk, you know? There's no difference between a wild turkey and a buffalo trace. Or a, a thousand dollar, like the only thing, the only thing I've ever felt was different in like a really expensive whiskey is like, oh, it burns more. Oh, or, oh, it, it like, it's really smoky, this one is. But I don't get like notes of anything. If you if you ask me what the notes of a whiskey are, I'll, I'll be like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's whiskey. I wish I knew more about whiskey and whatnot. I bet you will in a week's time you'll come back and you'll be like oh well the this whiskey has notes of cedar and nuts you know what though schlatt like i actually respect you for being very into like something because i feel like you develop so much personality when you are just like into something and you can like really break it down and like appreciate it even if it's like whiskey or bourbon you know i think so i think there's something to that i feel like you just exude class and like elegance when you're just into something that's kind of like that he's gonna sell you a perfume you're hyping me up right now <laughs> yeah like unironically i think it's cool that you know so much about whiskey i don't i don't know shit i just said i know <laughs> shit about whiskey oh okay well what do you know about i could tell you how to make a really good youtube thumbnail <laughs> All right, what will the thumbnail be for this video? Uh, Chica jumping at you. What about her boobs hanging out? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Unironically, Schlatt, I think it's really cool that you know a lot about YouTube and, and how to make a good YouTube thumbnail and how to capture an audience and be entertaining. I just don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so serious. Like, unironically, you are very talented. Thanks, man. Next time we meet up, you better smell good as fuck. I'm gonna hold you to a higher standard than these other dweebs. Okay, well, what Excuse kind of... Excuse me? What kind of... <laughs> What I've been told I smell good. Too. Organic Hannah, smell. You, you fucking turned your shirt inside out when you got up today. <laughs> what, what do you? What does that mean? You're just saying shit. That doesn't mean anything. You just turned that shit inside out and said, "Fuck it, that that'll do." So what if I did? Cost effective. Just saying, it is cost effective. I wear two dollar Gildan shirts. Panda's natural musk could be bottled up. There'd be some good top notes there. Usually, you want to have musk in the middle notes at most. Oh, okay, my bad. No, yeah, because that is a late night. That's a bottom <laughs> base note slash mid. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Base note. yeah, well, also, it's just like, since it's a stronger smell, it can overpower the top notes if you include it with the top notes, you know? Unless that's what you're going for. <laughs> like, Astro, maybe you're onto something. Like, maybe maybe if you want to smell like pure musk. I want to smell like a panda. Yeah, I smell stinky. I never shower. I smell like crap. <laughs> 
smell like dirty <laughs> shit. <laughs> a panda, would you sign off on this fragrance if we called it like Uda Panda? And it's like um, it's like putrid and disgusting and Uda Panda, Uda Panda. It's um musk, uh, rotten spaghetti, and pig shit in the top notes. In the middle notes, we've got dust, oily hair, and gamer chair sweat. Mm. And then in the in the bass notes. <laughs> belly button lint. Swamp ass. Swamp ass, yeah. Swamp ass. Can we talk about the belly button smells fucking disgusting? Like, it's actually one of the worst smells. You gotta clean it. Belly button is definitely going in the bass note. In the bass notes, yep. We've got used sock. Used Used sock. in one way. What way are we talking? I would have said That's smelly sock. sock. Used makes it sound like... There's something in there. Like my children. Dude, cum socks are gross. Like, that concept's gross. Like, it's old, rotting nut in a sock. I feel like most people doing it are doing it like in a oh! used sock. Nice! Like, Let's go, Panda. I've never done the cum sock. Is Are you supposed to, like, put it over your cock like a puppet? Like a sock puppet? And then you just finish into it while you just... I don't just, see how that's You just hot. jerk yeah. over the sock? No. Wouldn't it just hurt? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, that'd be irritating. Panda, you're pretty good at this game. This game is like your whiskey. We're kind of ignoring it, but you're kind of owning it. Dude, Dude, I'm on edge. This is how I feel alive. This is like my 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 meth. Play this every day when you wake up. Guys, Ooh. I never want you guys to go to LA. I feel like everyone goes to LA becomes addicted to like drugs. I'm never going to LA, don't worry. You guys have to solemnly swear. I go to LA quite frequently. I think I thought you meant like live in it. I'm never living oh, in LA. God. If any of us live in LA, they get kicked off the, the show. I agree. That's a okay. pact that we have. No. In LA, you'll, you'll find you'll find Fenton burgers. You'll just find it in weed. You'll find that shit anywhere. They just they just be throwing that shit anywhere. You sound like a Fox <laughs> News anchor. Yeah, I was gonna say, watch this Fox News one. They're what do putting you mean? Fentanyl in the burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine Trump started. They put fentanyl in the burgers. I mean, he probably has said that. <laughs> I heard they put fent is what they're calling it. They them. put fenny. <laughs> they call it the fenny. <laughs> All the retailers are in on it. McDonald's, Burger King, they're all in on it. They're Fat all in guys, I mean, my fentanyl. What do you think the fifth guy is for? He gets the fent. Mika, what's, <laughs> your, bur what's your burger story? Oh, yeah, the, the in and out burger story. I went yeah. to Los Angeles with my friends, and uh, we really wanted to try in and out because we don't have it in Canada. So we went through, like, peak LA traffic, like, rush hour, and we kept circling the block because we kept missing our turn, and no joke, literally, Literally circling the block once took us 45 minutes. So we were in traffic for an hour and 30 minutes circling this five guys and we couldn't turn into it. And uh, when we turned into it, it was not even good. Damn. Wait, what? You said five guys is not good? Oh, sorry, in and out Nah, that would've been crazy. I, I get that. I I'm not a big fan of in and out The fries were chalky. My friend was like, oh, you have to try animal style. But they were just chalky. Animal style is gross. You're, it's actually like eating like a pig. Like you're, you're eating slop. You're actually eating pig feed. I'm looking at Google. Is it the one with all the like mayo on it and all stuff? All the fucking garbage on it. Maybe, yeah. Like, like when I think of it, I think of like a pig just swishing its face <laughs> around in, in yeah, trash. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they should just put troughs in there and people get down in the troughs and, and eat yeah. it. Yeah. There were so many like just like middle schoolers. We couldn't even eat inside the In-N-Out. We had to go in the parking lot and just sit in the parking lot. I had the worst fan experience of my life in an In-N-Out in Austin, Texas. Really? Yep. Do you want to tell? Yeah. Yeah, I was uh, I was in In and Out with a buddy of mine, and this old middle-aged woman she walks up to me and she says, "I think my son watches you." <laughs> and I'm eating, and I go, "Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a YouTuber. He probably does." And she's like, "Can I get a picture?" And I said, "Sure." And she takes her phone out and takes a picture of me <laughs> eating the burger, <laughs> like at the table with my random buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. And I'm like, what are you doing? What? I thought you meant a selfie. And I was like, let's take a selfie instead. And she's like, oh, okay. And so I like, I don't know. It's just the fucking weirdest, like, no self-awareness moment I've ever had. And like, she didn't even know who the fuck I was, too. Fake fans, am I right? Fake fans. Fake fans, man. That's Lady, fan what again. are you doing? Taking a picture? What the fuck? <laughs> That's actually a completely normal human thing to do. Completely normal. What, snap a picture of somebody? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? In Japan, they, like, force you to have that really loud camera click sound effect when you take a picture on your phone so that you don't, like, 
do that to people. What do you mean they force you? Well, I don't know if this has changed, but... It's in all the I, phones, yeah. Yeah, when I heard about it, all the phones, to take a picture, it makes, like, a really loud, like, camera shutter sound effect. I think but, that's yeah. fair. But Place Japan is wholesome 100. What do you mean? Yeah, nothing I, bad happens there. Um, what? so... I did a thing. I took upskirt photos, <laughs> and now all the phones just kind of need a shutter, because everyone's fucking weird. I sell the photos oh, in a vending machine. Guys, I'm being tag team right now. They're both on... Look. One's uh -oh. right here, one's right here. Shit. What are you gonna do? Here. I don't know. I'm running out of power. I'm running out of power. Oh! Oh! Yeah. oh my god. You can do this, a panda. Oh my god! Oh! oh my fucking god, he's running! It crashed. Oh damn! The oh game crashed! <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll never know. We pretty much made it to night four. Like, we can say that, right? Like, we went to night four. Yeah, we beat the game, practically. Yeah, let, let's just say we beat the game. Yeah, and if we beat the first game, we might as well say, like, we could theoretically beat all of the them. sequels, yeah. That felt like a podcast episode. It did. Yeah. <laughs> it's just anticlimactic. Panda quit. Panda fucking, he rage quit when he was about to die. You were I didn't about quit. To die. You were. I was literally going to the door. You could see my cursor as it was going to the door. It just slipped into the other monitor, which minimized the screen. I I couldn't see your cursor the whole really? time. I'm sweating balls for you guys. This is how I'm treated. I was putting in work, work into this game. Thanks, Panda. You did a great job. Fuck! I'm getting mid notes of Baba and bass notes of Bowie. <laughs> Baba Bowie. Baba Bowie.